What's going on, people? Kenneth Rodriguez, Geek Huffick. So, the last video was in Spanish, so this one's gonna be in English. Me pica el inglés. So, uh, I finally, finally tamed the beast. I finally could print something on the Jupiter. So, well, I, I print a couple of things and uh, uh, my last video, I did a first impressions for the Mac Flex plate from uh, Moro, uh, Moreno Moro. And uh, I was very, very skeptical on it. You know, uh, this is the this is the second place, not even open yet, but this is the, the the second one that I that I got. One side again has the honeycomb. If you watch the other video, uh, it doesn't like you can't feel the honeycomb. This one is a brush side. So what I did with my unit with the other one was that I, you know, I scratched it, I sanded it, I sanded it. It's it's in the unit, so I don't want to pull it out, but. I sanded it, I have a picture, right? And if you notice in the picture, one of the tabs, one of these tabs, let me, uh, let me grab something so I can, so you can actually see the tab right here. Let's do this. Let's see if you can see it now. So that tab right there, uh, too light, too much. Okay, right there, that tab, the one in the middle, it bent. It bent, it was my fault. It's, it wasn't like a product flaw or anything. I was, uh, when I was uh, sanding it, I put too much pressure in that and it kind of bent. So I had to cut it, right? So I cut it, sanded it, put it in the unit. Because I didn't want to have like a, a, a punch of fat, right? So I've been battling with this machine for a while, trying to like, like, like get the settings right. I tried to use the same settings I used for my uh, Mars 2 Pro, but they did not work. So between a lot of people in the community, you, you should you should go the Elegoo uh, Jupiter community on Facebook. Uh, they have a, a page for Jupiter, one for the Neptune, one for the Mars, one for the Saturn. So uh, everyone's helping everyone out, right? So everyone's sharing their success stories and their settings, but every resin is different right uh, i use uh, water washable uh elegu water washable resin that's the one i'm using so all the settings are going to be different especially like whatever you live is it cold is it hot you're going to say humid so resin uh reacts to all that stuff so it, it, it's been a while since i could like actually do i uh, like that like a complete complete uh full print like full successful print so here's my first somewhat successful print it's a hellboy bust right uh but when it was printing like there's holes in the bag like it didn't print that part right there there's a hole in the chest see be uh under his armpit it's not fully printed uh you know it, like the hand didn't print completely so i mean it's a failed print it's a failed print what i'm gonna do because i'm oh and here in the neck look at the neck it didn't it didn't fully print so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna treat it as a statue and i'm gonna i'm gonna print uh, a couple of uh well not print i got my uh uh uh, uh super sculpy and i'm gonna make some plates break them and then I'm going to put them around, you know, like it's a statue. I'm going to paint it as a statue of him. Maybe put some moss in it, right? And, and like weather it down. So uh, it's going to it's gonna look cool. It's, it's, it's a failed print, but we're going to make it successful, right? The second almost 100 successful print that I have done with the Jupiter is uh, it's a Wonder Woman uh, statue, right? From Eastman. And uh, for, for this one, I, I actually ordered the resin labs from uh, Uncle Jesse and uh, I don't, Andrew Sink, I believe it is. Yeah, Andrew Sink. And, and I loved it. I loved it. You can see the video here. And, and, and I love 
like seeing the print, you know, coming out of the bat. It's so cool, it's so cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Andrew Sink and Uncle Jesse for, for actually uh, creating this because it's so much easier. I have my camera right here. That camera, I don't use, I like, it's been collecting dust for probably 10 years. Nah, maybe nine, still. Uh, so now I can use the camera. Now it's the dedicated Resin Labs camera, right? And, and the link uh, for Resin Labs is gonna be below in the, in the, in the information. And yeah, so this print, it was almost successful. Uh, two things, the way that Eastman cut it, uh, it's kind of difficult to uh, kind of like put it together again. So there's gaps in between, uh, right there, come on. See, there's a gap in between in her belly and her arm. And this part right here didn't print, but that's my fault, cause it almost ran out of resin. The, the Jupiter almost ran out of, of resin. So I came in, I saw it, I'm like, no! So I grabbed uh, uh, another bottle of it, right? I grabbed another bottle, toss it in, and, and, and save this part. So, but being that this is not completely done, it still, it still works. Like, if you're looking at it from, from the front, you really can't tell, right? Because it's, it's in the back of this. But this I also will probably treat as a statue. Uh, you know, and weather it down, maybe those holes, make more holes with my Dremel and 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 make it look like a like a distressed statue. So so far the Jupiter I, I love it. I love the Jupiter. Um, it's 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 a great tool to have. Yes uh, the learning curve is a little more steep than the other units at least with the Mars 2 Pro uh, my first print which actually exploded let me show it to you it exploded uh, it was uh, this guy and it exploded like um, two months after printing but it still looks cool it's, it's like he died in battle or something so I might I might do some painting on it you know paint the silver outside and maybe the inside like red or whatnot and then like here some like like red like it looked it, like it was like struck by something and it just cut in in half um, but yeah with the Mars uh, 2 Pro I was printing like right there right there I was printing with the with the Jupiter it's, it's a little bit more of a learning curve uh, I noticed that some of the settings that I had I had to change um, what I do is pretty much when it's printing I let it sit for two seconds, print, like, do its thing, right? Wait two seconds, come up, wait one second, come down, print, wait two seconds, and 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 use uh, heavy supports, and that seems to be working. So uh, the next the next print that I'm gonna do is gonna be a combination between the Jupiter and the Neptune, right? The, the planets are gonna be aligning right and and i'm gonna do a, a an astronaut mario lamp for my son so yeah super super uh, happy with the jupiter super happy with its performance super happy with elegoo uh i i i can't i can't tell you how great they are um you have to experience it like their customer service is amazing uh, and and they respond like real quick also 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 I have to give a shout out to Andrew Sink who uh, when I ordered the resin labs I didn't have a tracking number or anything I, I contacted them and he was the one that responded uh, I also asked for permission to use their logo and he's, and he's like hey just go for it show I, I want to see the video so yeah huge shout out to to resin labs uh, for 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 that like it, it feels like you're talking face to face with a person also uncle jesse i want to apologize on on the elegu mars 2 pro uh facebook group you posted a, a picture of your studio right and i'm like huh 
This guy is claiming to have the same studio as Uncle Jesse. Here, this looked super identical to what you just shown. And it actually was Uncle Jesse. I was, I was, <laughs> I'm sorry, I apologize. I, I formally apologize, Uncle Jesse. Uh, uh, you were the you were the reason I actually got into wrestling printing. So I apologize. I watch all your videos, uh, and I love them. So yeah, uh, Jupiter, great machine. Mag flex plate. That's the other thing that we're gonna talk about. So again, Mag flex plate. I sanded one side to get better adhesion, right? This thing, the thing bent because of me. I had to cut it. It wasn't any 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 uh, engineering faults. It wasn't any manufacturing uh, faults. It was my fault. I bent it. I cut it. So the thing is, this honeycomb side, right? The honeycomb side, which you can't feel. So I I tested it. I tested it, and the only times that I had somewhat successful prints, right? Was on the honeycomb side. That thing works. That thing, like it adheres, it just stays there. Like if you have a failed print, it's because of the, of the supports. Like if you do uh, like a raft on it, the raft sticks. If, it, if, if it's failed, it's not because of the plate. It's because of your settings. This is a great product. This is a great product. Um, I, I I totally totally recommend getting a Mac Flex plate because it's awesome. It's awesome. Uh, the, the the previous video I did a first impressions, right? Like an unboxing and a first impressions. But a re this is the review. This is awesome. This is awesome. Get one. Get one. The, the magnetic uh, part, amazing. It's super strong, super strong. So I totally recommend getting a Mag Flex plate. So with that, that was my kind of like my first impressions uh, review of the Jupiter. I wanted to show some, some, uh, some prints. Uh, I wanted to talk about the Mag Flex plate and I wanted sh to show that video of the of the resin labs, which which is super easy to set up. Literally, you just have one cable that goes to the to the camera, right? And every single time the 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 screen lights up, it picks up on that light and makes the camera take a picture. So you're taking a picture exactly when it's printing, exactly when it's printing that layer. So it's just smooth. It's just smooth. And, and I love it. I love it. So easy, so easy to set up that it's mind boggling <laughs> how easy it is. But yeah, I, I totally recommend Mac Flex Flick. I totally recommend uh, Resin Labs if you if you wanna like take videos of your like make videos of your of your 3D print. And and the Jupiter has been amazing. Jupiter 6K right now. Supposedly they're gonna uh, release an 8K uh, screen. Will I get it? Probably not. Cause uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'll see the difference. Cause uh, right now from the Mars 2 Pro to the Jupiter, uh, somewhat not that much of a difference, right? And plus, oh, everything is gonna get painted and and weathered down and, and whatnot. But I'm telling you. Look at that, look at that. It's awesome, it's awesome. So without further ado, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit like, share the video if you want. I'm Kenneth Rodriguez, this was Geek Hopping.